Hi folks, um, I just put this video together um, to answer the question of how you can outcrop images in DALI 2 um, and I'll also explain um, why you might want to do that. I've seen a lot of people asking for this when they're new to the tool. Um, so let me give you a couple of examples here. Let's imagine that I go and type in uh, photograph of farmer in a field. As a proper farmer in a field, we generate the image. Okay, and after a short pause, um, you can see that um, we've got two issues with um, these pictures. Um, so the first issue is that um, in some of these images, we're not seeing very much of the field. Um, so say, for example, this one here, um, all we see is a, a small part of the field. Maybe we wanted to have a, a larger area. Um, and the other thing that you will notice is the faces of these images um, are quite distorted and this is a, a very common issue with uh, DALI 2 um, when you're creating images on here. So outcropping is uh, a way to resolve uh, a lot of these problems that you have. Um, so uh, let's kind of address both of them in, in one go, but you, you, you may want to do this with different kinds of images. Um, so uh, with regard to the issue of face distortion, uh, generally what you'll find with DALI is that um, that issue disappears um, when you specifically ask for a portrait, so kind of a close-up image of someone's face. It's when there's a lot of other detail uh, in the image that you start to get this problem with the uh, distorted faces. So I'm going to run this query again, and instead of saying uh, farmer in field, uh, this time uh, I'm going to say um, photographic portrait of a farmer with a background of the sky. And you'll see why I'm specifying the background in a moment. So I'm just going to run that again. Okay, so now what you can see is that the quality of the images here are much, much better. Um, still not quite perfect on that one, but we've got much more uh, realistic faces with these images here. Um, still a bit of distortion here. Um, uh, and also, for some reason, um, Dali has decided to make all these images of a particular uh, ethnicity. Um, you can kind of get round that by specifying um, the skin colour or the ethnicity of the person that you're looking at in the uh, prompt that you put in there. Um, but let's say, OK, uh, I'm going to choose, let's say, the best of these, um, probably this one here. Um, so now what I want to do, I've got a reasonably good um, quality of the face. Um, now what I want to do is get the rest of the context and have this person standing in a field. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go download that uh, onto my desktop. I'm going to save that there. Okay. And then I'm going to switch over to um, another uh, piece of software. And this is a web-based tool. Um, which is called a DALI 2 image downsizer for in-painting. Um, and this is completely free. You can use this as much as you want. Um, I'll put the address to this uh, with the details of the video here. Um, and there are various tools. I mean, you could even do this in your favorite image editor or Photoshop, um, but this is just kind of quick and easy way of doing it. So all you do is select the file that we've just downloaded. So I'm going to upload that image here. And then we can scale that image. So if I want to get a lot more of the field in, then obviously I don't want quite so much of the farmer. So I'm just going to reduce the size of that farmer down. And then another thing I can do, let me just jig this across a little bit here so you can see this. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the XY. So I'm going to reposition the head of the farmer. I'll leave him roughly in the center and then we'll bring him up to here, let's say, so we can see more of his body. Um, that seems okay. That should give us a reasonable uh, shot. And then um, you've got a little option here to remove the watermark, which is just leave that ticked. Um, and then uh, I click on here, background color. Now what that's actually done 
is it's created um, a transparent background around that image. And I don't know if you can see, if you look very carefully here, it's kind of stippled the edge of that image there, um, which is where Dali is going to fill that in. So once I've done that, I just click here, save. And that's it. I've saved that to uh, my computer now. So now I'm going to go uh, back to Dali here. Um, and I'm going to uh, select this option here now to upload an image. So I'm going to click on upload and then select my resized image, which is here. And you can see that brings it up here. We click done and then edit image. Uh, and then I need to describe again uh, what I want, including the context. So this time I'm going to say um, a photograph of a farmer standing in a field uh, let's in fact let's give it a bit more a field of sunflowers okay there we go um, now all i have to do is just kind of um show a kind of an area for editing here so um, this has already been marked as transparent but you just need to literally just kind of use the brush tool here uh, on dolly and just click just even once will do it you can if you want to you can click but make sure you just click into that transparent area there so uh, dolly knows where you want this in painting to uh, take place uh, then we click generate okay and there you can see we've got a, a fairly good image um <laughs> not great sunflowers in that one that's a little bit better yeah i'd say that's probably the best one there but you can see um what we've got now um is a lot more context to this image here we've got the, the farmer standing in the field and we've got a pretty good quality of face so this uh, outcropping and impating it kind of solves two uh, real problems with Dali, which is that very often your images get cropped too tight, tighter than you would want them to be, um, and you also have a problem of distorted faces unless you have a kind of an extreme close-up portrait um, of the person that you're putting in there. Hope that's helpful. All right, take care.